the adversity and section uh, scars, the pigmentation of uh, and rejuvenation of uh, the labia majora, toning of the labia majora. Continence, as you are going to the disease, it causes a symptom that may be found in both women and uh, men. Urinary incontinence is uh, uncontrolled, even going to the loss of urine, which can uh, very quickly from eliminating a few drops to heavy loss. The problem affects millions of people and can lead to uh, a state of discomfort, which uh, increases the quality of life and uh, negatively impacts uh, the normal rhythm of the daily life. Although it is more common in uh, after a certain age, uh, urinary incontinence can occur at any time as a result of various causes. Uh, as we, we know, it, uh, there are uh, more types of urinary incontinence, uh, the stress urinary incontinence, the urinary urgency or overactive bladder, and the mixed urinary incontinence. Stress urinary incontinence is uh, the most common, is an increase in the, the intra abdominal uh, pressure. Urine uh, loss occurs when uh, the intravesical pressure is higher than the ureteral pressure as a result of the failure of the ureteral resistance mechanisms. This may be due to ureteral hypermobility or an intrinsic deficiency of the sphincter. Causes of SUI, uh, pregnancy and childbirth, and other causes, causes may be a loss of pelvic uh, tone, muscle tone due to aging, obesity, menopause, hysterectomy, nerve and muscle injuries from childbirth, surgical trauma, chronic cough due to smoking and uh, lung disease, weightlifting and, and uh, high impact sports. Urinary incontinence uh, affects the 15 to 55 percent of uh, women and uh, the severity of the symptom, symptoms increases with age. The conditions have been shown to have a significant impact on the quality of life and the sexual life of those affected for several reasons. Two of them are uh, loss of urine during intercourse and uh, fear of urinating in the bed. And all of these problems can uh, can uh, lead to significant uh, psychosocial uh, consequences. Yes. So we have uh, three grades of urinary incontinence. Uh, grade one is the loss of urine uh, while coughing and sneezing. Grade two is loss of urine while, while uh, doing uh, exercise and intense physical exertion. And uh, grade three is the loss of urine uh, uh, when walking or climbing stairs. The high prevalence of urinary continence in the general population has led to the exploration of various treatment options and techniques to help alleviate these symptoms. The, they range from uh, Kegel exercises and uh, uh, psychotherapy, for, uh, <clears throat> physiotherapy for pelvic floor rehabilitation uh, to more in invasive approaches such as surgical treatment. But surgery may not be the optimal treatment for uh, all patients as it is often associated with uh, multiple contraindications and side effects. Minimally invasive surgical techniques are relatively effective, but in over 15% of cases, uh, there are complications such as bleeding, erosions, uh, ureteral injuries, infections, chronic pain, and urinary retention. Conventional surgery is also associated also with uh, anesthetic risk and uh, an increased uh, recurrence rate of over 25%. The, this therapeutic vacuum has stimulated the research and development of uh, minimally invasive uh, energy-based devices, such as lasers, which could uh, be, an, uh, be used as an alternative treatment option in order to address urinary incontinence in women more effectively. Uh, scientific and technological advances have led to improved clinical outcomes with less uh, invasive procedures, shorter recovery times, and uh, lower cost. In this regard, uh, the recent evidence supports the CO2 treatment as an alternative and effective in intervention for SUI. In the last decade, laser treatment of the SUI and the genital urinary syndrome uh, has uh, proved to be a promising method for, for, uh, for treatment. There have been, uh, th uh, there are, there are uh, three physical characteristics that make uh, made it possible to use lasers in, in vulva vaginal area. The minimal ablation uh, together with thermal effects, their high absorption co coefficient for water, and the fact that uh, they are fractionated means that the surrounding healthy tissue recovers and regenerates the affected tissue by the action of the laser, quickly and without discomfort. There are uh, more contraindications uh, uh, that have been uh, uh, told today already. 
the mechanism of action of CO2 laser, by which the laser treatment can alleviate SUI, are its biostimulating and uh, phototermal effects. Uh, laser biostimulation uh, restores most vaginal functions, including secretion, absorption, elasticity, lubrication, and uh, thickness of the vaginal epithelium. The phototermal effect produced uh, by the laser penetrates the vagina to a depth of uh, 300 and 500 micrometers, resulting in a re reduction of uh, tissue volume by 30%. And this reduction determines the mechanical uh, traction of the deeper layers, which uh, contributes to the adjustment effect uh, due to the production of elastin fibers and uh, the stimulation of neocollagenesis, leading to an increase in the thickness of the vaginal epithelium, as well as in uh, the elasticity and uh, firmness of the wall. This may relate to the restoration of the ureteral uh, cooptation mechanisms involved in the, the SUI. This is the association between SUI and collagen is well established. The amount of uh, type 1 uh, and uh, type 2 collagen is significantly lower in vaginal mucosa of patients with SUI. Uh, the lack of hormone support uh, in menopause further reduces the collagen reserve. And uh, this is a, a possible explanation for the failure of many surgical procedures in uh, urogynecology with the frequent recurrence of symptoms and uh, very good results of the vaginal laser treatment. I'm going to skip this. So the laser treatment for vaginal rejuvenation, the thermal, heat, uh, the thermal heating and microablation applied on various layers of the vaginal tissue are performing in a 360 degree pattern. The laser determines the remodeling and reconstruction of the vaginal tissue uh, through contracting the existing collagen and elastin fibers, uh, stimulation of, of the new collagen fibers, neovascularization and improved the vaginal lubrication, normalizes the vaginal pH and flora, improves the response in the local immune system and help uh, treat recurrent vaginitis. And it restores the quality of uh, vaginal wall mucosa and improves sensitivity of, of the vaginal tissue. For SUI, uh, there is a different uh, uh, protocol. The, the thermal heating and microablation is applied to the anterior vaginal uh, tissue in a 120 degree pattern. The laser can be used in prevention and treatment of uh, stage 1 and 2A SUI and improves uh, the, the symptoms uh, in stage 2B and 3. We, we had a small uh, clinical uh, trial at, uh, at our clinic. And because there, were, there is controversy and doubt about the efficiency and the safety of the CO2 laser in urinary incontinence, I would like to present the very good results and safety of the procedures using the Pixel CO2 vaginal laser from ALMA on a group of uh, 75 patients with urinary incontinence that, that were treating in our clinic uh, during the period of uh, January 2020 and September 2021. The patients were aged uh, 30 to 68 years, and the average age is being uh, 47.9 years. Uh, during the first visit to the medical uh, practice, it is recommended to do the following. Discussion about the patient, the detailed medical history, including uh, previous treatments, uh, uh, treatment methods, a gynecological examination to determine the indication for the laser treatment, determining why the patient requests this treatment and finding ways to put her expectations into practice, discussion about the treatment protocol and post-treatment effects, filling in and uh, signing the informed consent form, the pregnancy test must be negative, a negative cytology uh, at least uh, three months before uh, treatment and uh, sterile urine uh, culture. We divided the patient uh, upon their parity, about, upon their hormonal status, uh, upon the way, uh, the way they uh, gave uh, birth, the grade of SUI, and uh, the SUI associated uh, diagnosis. The therapeutic uh, approach uh, was personalized for each patient, uh, depending on the age and the symptoms associated with the SUI. The patients had as associated the therapies uh, one or more of the following, like HIFEM, vaginal PRP, vaginal hyaluronic acid, and estrogen ovules. As the treatment protocol, we always used uh, a topic anesthetic, or at least 20 minutes uh, before uh, the intervention, and we wipe it off, wiped it off uh, before the, using the, the laser. Uh, the, pr the procedure was performed uh, using personalized, personalized patient energy levels between 60 and 120 millijoules per pixel. This was depending on the patient's tolerance and the level of vulvovaginal uh, atrophy. 
uh, with a semi uh, smart applicator, we made uh, three passage, passes with uh, 360 degrees over the entire circumference of the vagina and two passes uh, with uh, the laser wave acting 120% uh, degree under the, the urethra. Uh, there were cases when we used the family lift uh, slim applicator. Uh, we, I made uh, four passes uh, of 360 degrees with lower energy because the patients had associated with a vaginal pathology such as uh, severe vaginal atrophy, the post surgery vaginal scarring, and um, sclerotrophic lichen, which uh, narrowed the vaginal introitus uh, very much. Every, every patient uh, got between three and five sessions of uh, laser with the, the difference of uh, a four to six weeks in between, and then uh, a maintenance session after eight to 12 months. The perception of, pay, uh, of pain was uh, very low. You can see it on the VAS uh, scale. Okay, so we have some uh, post-procedure recommendation. The patient uh, could return to normal activity immediately after uh, the intervention. Sexual intercourse uh, should be avoided for uh, five days post-procedure. Only shower should be taken and uh, the ir irrigation insertion of vaginal tampons must be avoided for uh, five days. Uh, we had no significant uh, side effects. Uh, minimal side effects uh, such as abundant uh, vaginal secretions with, uh, in some cases, with the stripes of blood. In a few hours, they occurred, minimal local edema and uh, mild itching. In order to assess the outcomes of the CO2 laser treatment, the single or combined protocols, I used uh, several questionnaires that were uh, filled in before the treatment after the first, third, fifth session, and six months uh, after ending the treatment. Uh, the Sandvik and the ECQI was uh, to assess the severity of the SUI symptom. The SFFI was for uh, se sexual aesthetic section. And the OABSS assessment of the severity of the symptoms of uh, overactive bladder associated with SUI. As we can see, the Sandvik uh, uh, score, the ECQI score, they all showed uh, uh, significant improvement uh, after the, the five uh, treatments with a slight recurrence uh, uh, after six months uh, uh, post-treatment. The combined CO2 laser and uh, high FEM in SVI for uh, overactive bladder patients uh, has shown the same uh, pattern. Every, everything was going well uh, until the fifth session and uh, six months after the procedure, they had a slight recurrence of the symptoms. So our study showed uh, the improvement of uh, moderate and severe SVI symptoms after the first session of CO2 laser treatment and the effect in increased with, this, uh, in, with this such, each, se no, each session. Sorry. From the practice of our clinic, we have noticed that the results of the pixel CO2 laser treatment over SUI are progressive, increasing after each laser session. In the most patients, we performed five sessions and only six patients benefited of, uh, of three uh, treatments because they were located at a great distance from Timisoara and they didn't need, uh, uh, let's say, two top of uh, treatments uh, because they had uh, their symptoms much improved or disappeared. The OAB symptoms were assessed by using the, the abbreviated and validated form of the OABSS. Significant results appeared uh, one month after the first laser session. Uh, patients reported a significant reduction in the number of uh, urinations and the number of episodes of urinary urgencies. Uh, all OA OAB patients received the combined treatment with the CO2 laser and uh, the m uh, chair. The procedure is efficient and safe if applied in accordance with the appropriate parameters. No significant side effects have been reported. However, more, ex more extensive long-term uh, studies are required to, to refine the protocols and uh, compare various treatment options. This study will, will be extended uh, for the, in the next period uh, for one, two, three years uh, to see what, what are the results in, in time. In conclusion, the result of our clinical trial is, is uh, similar uh, to other trials in, the, in, in this field. It shows that CO2 laser treatment for SUI and uh, GSM is uh, very good. It's a, it's a very good non-invasive option. 
uh, giving women a better li uh, quality of life. I would like to invite you also for the uh, third Romanian uh, Aesthetic Gynecology Conference in, uh, in uh, Bucharest in September. And uh, I would th thank you for the, listening to me and I invite you also for Timisoara. Thank you.